the game went into overtime. But why? When the match timer runs out, the game checks to see if the active objective has been contested within the last three seconds. If it has, then the game goes into overtime. If it hasn't, then the game ends. We can see this behavior in-game if we let time run out while on the point and while not on the point. Overtime. Knowing all this, we can expect to observe the same behavior on control maps, right? Okay, so what's going on here? In the control game mode, there is no match timer. Instead, each team has an internal counter that keeps track of their progress towards winning the round. When a team captures the point, their counter increases by 0.83 repeating every second. The percentage displayed on the HUD is the floor of the internal counter, meaning it is rounded down to the nearest whole number. When this value is equal to 99, the game checks to see if the point has been contested within the last 3 seconds. If it has, the internal counter is set to 99.99, .99 and the game goes into overtime. This is the reason overtime happens sooner on control. The overtime check occurs at 99%, whereas the round ends at 100%. And since the internal counter is rounded down, contesting the point at any time between 99% and 100% will trigger overtime on demand. In most game modes, you have a 3 second window before the end of the game to cause overtime to activate. The same 3 second window exists in control, but remember, overtime activates at 99% rather than at the end of the game. So you effectively have a 4.2 second window to trigger overtime in this game mode. This means the earliest you can touch the point to trigger overtime is 96.5%. Any earlier and the game will end once a team reaches 100%. Once again, we can corroborate this in-game. You might be wondering how an oversight like this has remained in the game for so long. Well, it may not be a bug. In fact, it's probably intentional. In most game modes, there is a match timer that telegraphs exactly when the game is going to end. There is no confusion when this is going to happen, since the decimal value is shown on the HUD. In Control, we can't see the exact moment the game will end ahead of time. We can approximate when this will happen based on the rhythm of the percentage value increasing, but it can still be ambiguous during gameplay. It's possible that the developers realized this, and decided to perform the overtime check at 99%, since it is the last value displayed on the HUD before the game ends. Thanks for watching, and consider subscribing for more Overwatch videos like this.